Welcome to the field stripping for the MP 9L. I'm going to demonstrate two different ways of field stripping. The first can be done on any MP model, the second can only be done on the models that are capable of firing with magazine removed. Before we go any further, show us being empty, safe, and clear. Now, to begin the field strip, the slide must be locked into its position it is now. On the opposite side, we have a lever, which is the takedown lever, that needs to be pulled down. We then remove the tool provided, and with this tool, we're going to go just below the firing pin. There is a sear deactivation lever, which needs to be pulled down. We then make sure that lever is still pointing in the downward position. Release the slide, and slide straight off the frame. So we've got the frame, the guide rod, the barrel, and the slide. And that is your basic field stripping for the M&P 9 for cleaning purposes. Putting back together is just as simple as taking apart. However, before putting the slide back onto the frame, you're going to want to make sure that that lever is back into its original position, or else your frame is just going to come straight back off. The slide, the lever is still down, slide back on frame, lock, take down lever back up, and that's your basic field strip. The other way I mentioned can only be done on models that have this writing on the slide. Caution capable of firing with magazine removed. This way is even easier than the first way. However, we start with slide locked, take down lever down. Instead of removing the tool or even using it on the sear, we just slide back, dry fire, and it comes off. Now the interesting thing about this barrel is you'll notice there's a slight elevation at the front there. That's so when it's sitting in the slide, it's nice and snug, ready to fire. Also, you'll notice there is a caliber 9mm, in this case 9mm, 40 cal, 45, or 357 sig also. You'll also notice a semicircle right there. I'll explain more about that in a little bit. The framework on the M&P, unlike the H&K and Glock or other polymer framed frames that have the polymer frame with the metal tip for a slide, this whole section here and here, also at the back, that's all metal, which is a very nice frame framework. Also on the trigger, it's split into two parts with a pin pivoted. If you can see just up here, there is a second little notch. That will stop it from firing if pulled from the top of the trigger. However, once the bottom part is pulled, that notch comes in and allows to be fired. This is Smith & Wesson's safety for misfiring if dropped. It takes a little while to get used to, but once you're used to it, it's not too bad. Now, what I su suggest doing every couple of thousand rounds is taking the firing pin out and cleaning it, so I'll demonstrate how to take that out. There's no need to remove the rear sights like some other firearms. What we're going to do is get a tool such as this, and at the back here there is a white polymer lock piece. We're going to pull that forward, relieving the pressure from the back plate. The back plate then just slides off like so. Now that pin will not come out, the firing pin will not come out until we depress the strike block, or the striker block, like that. There's your firing pin, and 
as I suggest, give a little bit of a clean in there, get rid of any rubbish, placing it back in to its position, just reverse, pull down on the striker block, push that white polymer lock piece back, the back the back plate down, pulling back and sliding that down, and there we go. Back into position. Placing it back into its rail, slide back. That's our second way. Now as I mentioned, that semicircle becomes a full circle when put back into this slide. Now this is the way to indicate whether there is a round in the chamber. Rather than pulling back and checking like that, if you had a round in there, there'd be the nice brass showing right there, indicating you've got a round right in the chamber, ready to go. So I hope that demonstrates a little bit more about the M&P field stripping and how easy it is. If you guys like the video, please comment, rate, like and subscribe and we'll be posting more in the coming weeks. Mm -hmm.